Today we are going to create this glowing moon loop animation in After Effects. Welcome to Mad Over Motion. And right away we are going to open After Effects. Here I have already made a vertical composition for an Instagram reel. First, import the moon texture in After Effects. I have shared an image link in the description below and drag that into composition. Scale it down and apply an effect called CC Sphere. Scale it up and under the shading section increase the ambient by 70. Under light section decreases the intensity by 80. Don't forget to rename your layer. Now let's quickly import mountain image and drag that in composition. Scale it down and adjust in framing. Now let's pre-compose this layer and let's work on the original image size. Once you pre-compose the layer, you will get to work on the original image size. Now we are going to break this mountain image into three different sections. Now, let's grab the mask tool and start masking the mountains. And this way we are ready with the close mountain mask. Now we are going to duplicate this layer and subtract the mask. Now we're going to draw another mask for the mountain. Duplicate the layer and delete the older mask and keep the only new one. And on the second layer, subtract both the masks. Now as you have three mountains, rename it as Close, Far, and Mid. And enable all the layers in 3D. I am going to cut and paste all the mountain layers to the main composition, and right-click and create a new camera and new null object. Enable 3D in both layers and parent camera to null object to animate the camera. Now adjust the mountain layers as per camera view. Select individual mountains and adjust as per the view and depth. Scale down the mid mountain and position it to the camera. Adjust the mountains in the Z axis to create a depth between the mountains. Once we are ready with the framing, we will animate the null object to animate the camera. As you animate the position of the null object into Y axis, you will see the depth between the mountains, but you will also notice that it's creating a problem at the edges. To solve that, select the mid-mountain layer and delete this mask. Now if you animate the null object, you will see that the problem is solved. We are going to scale down this mountain a bit more. Now, if we pull the camera up, you will see the hard edge on the close mountain. To solve that, pre-compose the close mountain layer. Under the pre-comp, create another duplicate of it and move it up. Create a mask and feather it. On Mail Comp, enable the Rasterize icon on the layer. Now, if you animate the camera, you will see that problem is gone. Once you are happy with your framing, quickly go to the position and enable the keyframe. Go to the second second and move the camera a bit up. Copy and paste the first keyframe to the fourth second to make it loop. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to make it smooth. Now if we drag and see the animation, you will noise the loop camera movement going up and down. Let's move the mid-mountains a bit far away from the camera to create a more depth. Let's see the preview now. Let's move the close mountain layer much closer to the camera. Let's see again.
Now, let's extend the timeline to 6 seconds and move the keyframes a much further from each other. Open the graph editor and adjust the graph until you get the desired result. Now, if we preview this, you will see the mountain popping up and down as the camera moves. Next, let's enable the moon layer and pre-compose it and move that layer under the mid-mountain. Enable the 3D. Let's also move the moon layer too far away from the camera. Now, let's animate the position of the moon layer. As the camera goes up, the moon pops up. And as the camera goes down, the moon should hide behind the mountains. Adjust the keyframes as per the camera movement and make them smooth too by pressing F9. Open the graph editor and adjust the moon animation too. Now let's import Half Moon to our comp. Apply Glow and increase the intensity. Rotate a bit and keep it under a closed mountain layer. Make it 3D and move it closer to the camera by adjusting the Z axis in position. Scale it down and animate as we animated the earlier moon. Now let's preview it again. It looks stunning, isn't it? Now let's animate the rotation of the full moon in 3D space. Select the CC sphere and animate the rotation in Y axis. Seeing a slight rotation in the moon creates a huge impact in animation. Now let's add glow around the edges of the moon. Duplicate the moon, pre-compose it, add glow, select the AB color to white, adjust the radius and intensity. Create a circular mask, adjust it to the center of the moon and subtract it. Add feather to the mask. Adjust the glow setting until you get the desired result. Now let's try to change the color of the moon by adding hue and saturation. Next, we are going to animate the intensity of the mountains by adding curves. Make the mid-mountain dark at the first frame, go to third second, and make it bright as the moon rises. And on the last frame, paste the first keyframe to make it loop. Make all the keyframes smooth by pressing F9. The same way we are going to animate the front mountain brightness by adding curves. Let's preview it again. I think let's remove the color from the full moon. We will keep it the original color only. This is how you can create stunning moon loop animation in After Effects. Subscribe to Mad Over Motion for more tutorial like this.